My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training, and in today's Everyday Office video, I'm going to take a set of numbers and present them in a way that works better for a lot of situations. As you can see here, I've got a table that's full of these very, very complex numbers in the millions. And the problem is that what really matters to us is probably that product one sold about $7 million worth, or maybe it's 6.99 five million dollars worth or whatever you want it to be it's probably not important to go all the way down to the cent level there now you can highlight these numbers and you can use the home tab at the top of the screen to do things like remove the decimal places so I can decrease the decimal places here with the decrease decimal button but again, still, you know, the ones, the tens, and the hundreds positions of these numbers are probably not relevant for somebody who just wants to know what our best performing products are. So it's in these situations where we need to use a little custom number formatting. Now, as you can see on the number group up here, but when I reduced the number of decimal places using that decrease decimal button, it actually switched over to something called custom number formatting because originally it was set to the accounting format, but the accounting format uses the decimal places. And since I decided not to use the decimal places, as far as Excel is concerned, this is a custom number formatting format that they hadn't thought of for you. So what we're going to do here is go much, much further than just taking off the decimal places. We're going to go in and actually tell it to present a certain number of digits out of every one of these numbers and sort of leave off the stuff that's unimportant to us. We can see this by going to the number group and clicking this little pop out button for the number format options. When I click on that button, you'll see that when I look at the custom settings for a normal number, you can see here that it's got things like zeros and pound signs in our uh, setup. And what this means is anytime you see a zero in a custom number format, it means we must see this position of the information. So in this case, what matters is if it's zero dollars, it'll actually still show a zero here. But if I were to take all of this out and start over with just a dollar sign, what exactly should I be doing in order to show this number in a particular way? Well, what I can do is I can put in pound signs whenever I want to see a particular digit. So notice here, by putting in one pound sign, I effectively just said, okay, just show me the numbers with a dollar sign attached to it. But if I put in a comma here, notice what that does. It says, I actually don't want to see anything before this first comma in the number value. And when I put in a second comma, you see that right there? What it actually does is with two commas, with the pound sign to the left of those two commas, Excel is saying you want to see that what's after the second comma, so that's that millions position, but you don't want to see any of the thousands or ten thousands or hundred thousands positions. You don't want to see the ones, the tens, or the hundreds positions. Now, if I were to go in here between the two commas and put a pound sign between there, that would be saying, I want to see uh, everything between the first comma and the second comma and everything after that second comma, but nothing from the zeros to the ones. Now, all that's left is to be able to present this with some sort of indicator to tell you that this is thousands or millions or those sorts of things. So if I put in quotation marks K close quotation marks, you can see here I can turn this number into 6,996,000. ,000. Or if I take this pound sign out and switch the K to an M, I can say that this number is 9 million. Or by putting the pound sign in here and then actually putting in a decimal and then let's say one, two zeros, for example. I can show this as 7.00 million, or one, two, three zeros, 6.996 million, 
or maybe just one zero, seven point zero million dollars. So notice here by putting the decimal before the two commas, we're effectively saying show the millions position as if it's a decimal number. So any millions that are in there show how many thousands there are after the point. Then I click OK. And just like that, instead of the raw numbers, and every time you click on one of these, you can actually see the raw number value right up here, the 24 uh, 24,197,494 that's up there turns into 24.2 million. And that's how you can present these in whatever way makes most sense and is clearest for the people who are trying to consume the information. Mm -hmm.